Hello Capricorn, I'm Susie from The Gift Tarot 2. It's the 22nd of February and I'm going to read your cards for the next 7 to 10 days. Angels, spirit guides and universe, what would you like Capricorn to know about the next 7 to 10 days? Capricorn, please. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Capricorn to know about the next 7 to 10 days? Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Capricorn to know? What would you like Capricorn to know about the next 7 to 10 days? The energies for Capricorn for the next seven to ten days. The energies for Capricorn for the next seven to ten days. Angel Spirit Guides. Angel Spirit Guides Universe. What are the energies for Capricorn? Sorry about the noise. It's a train parked outside. Okay, Capricorn, we've got the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Someone's rushing into maybe at first they might start an argument. This could be a Gemini, a brother. Um, but ultimately they've got your back they want to see things through with you this is a warrior going into war or he's not going to war he's announcing the war <laughs> it's like Gemini air, speech, contact um, uh, they want to rush in very much action air um, so we've got Queen of Cups with the Four of Swords um, you've been nurturing your body, you've been isolating yourself, you've been sorting out your mental, you're contemplating your next move, um, you've been very loving, uh, you're feeling that nothing's floating your boat at the moment, that you are a bit stifled by drama, uh, the money's not doing it, um, the, the fame's not doing it. Um, it's almost like you're pressured by other people's stuff and you want to get back to a place where you can see the original plan and that house on the hill that you wanted. There is some kind of team here uh, or there's at work, but they're battling you. They're, they're trying to pull you down off your pedestal. Um, this could be some kind of third party. There's hard work with this. This, this is hard work after you've been given some kind of upgrade, but it's not, you've worked hard to get there. It's not just given, it's you've worked to get there. And it's like, you're struggling now um, because it's like someone's made up your mind, your mind for you, or you've made up your mind about somebody. It's, um, things have been too hurtful. This tower moment here, something about the house, the foundation of something's crumbling. It's out of the blue. Everyone knows what the tower is, uh, but it can also be an awakening, like you're having to wake up to realizing maybe that you're in a trap, that you're in this, you're on your way to uh, this mental overwhelm. Because I don't like seeing the swords. We've got the four of swords here. This is contemplating next move, it's getting, meditating getting rid of some of your worries. You're feeling that you're coming from the heart, that you know, you're very um, nourishing your heart. You could be um, just getting healthy because you feel burdened by some dramas at work or someone's trying to drag you down there. You've put a wall up. Um, but you've made up your mind to do something. Um, it might break up at home. We've got the Eight of Swords. It's going up to more worry. So, be careful that you don't lead yourself back into some kind of deception or whatever you're about to do to plant a new seed this is a good card to have in number 10 whatever you're about to do or you're about to gift you're going to get or something it's going to be in secret. So you might have to keep from these people from telling them what you're doing because it seems that they want what you've got. So there could be a little bit of method in your madness, if you like. Uh, but as I said, the four of swords going up, it's extra worry. After this thing comes out of the blue, it's that, oh, I, I, now I, I, I've got to keep one person from finding out about another, but I could walk away from this mental overwhelm at any minute. So I'll... It's like you're trying to walk away from it, but you're going to have to do it in a little bit of a sneaky way so that you can start this new business, start this new work. Maybe this work is just not doing it for you or this team or this threesome. 
just not doing for you. Um, or someone's coming in to sneakily ask you to marry them after mm. their home's broken or something like that. Um, angels, spirit guides, what would you like Capricorn to know about this week? What would you like Capricorn to know? What would you like Capricorn to know about this week, the next seven to ten days? What would you like Capricorn to know? Angels, spirit guides for Capricorn. Okay. There's your I knew that would come up first. Deception. Someone's wearing a false self mask in this relationship. We've got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. <sighs> so... You might be not talking to someone at the moment. This is a burden. Um, you might be offered some kind of upgrade, but it, I don't think it's enough for you. It's like, do you know how hard this was? Um, it's like you've made up your mind. It's like there's no, no more confusion about this. But then the tower comes in something toward the home where you're going to have to get out of this trap um, secretly so that you can have this new beginning. Does that make any sense? I don't know. But we'll ask the angels. Angels, spirit guys. And there could be an age gap. There could be a distance between you. There could be, you know, someone's, yes, they've got feelings. Maybe they're separating from someone or they're secretly trying to get out of a house to come towards you to offer you this new gift this new seed to be planted. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like Capricorn to know about this week? Oh, that's too many, but I'll take this one and I will take the, let's say the next two. So we've got new psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer and meditation. Yeah, we've got this meditation here. Right now, Compared to this, you're doing good. Do more of that. If you're meditating and isolating yourself and um, getting rid of some burdens, getting up, you know, realizing that people maybe are jealous of your pedestal, they want to bring you down, then it allows you to carry on like that, you know. <laughs> um, but something out of the blue might come. You, it's almost like you want to get out of the house or someone does okay we've got to make your decision ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose which way takes me away from it this is the contemplation is this the right thing to do i'm the angel of abundance you'll receive the money that you need and god is in charge of how that will happen have faith it's almost like you're being asked to honor your spiritual self and um you're gonna you're gonna get stuff regardless it doesn't need to be in a debauched way you, you know when you get this vanessa you you can go about things in a, in a better way even though it seems more difficult the rewards have faith are better um So spiritually, this person might not be on the same page as you either. And that's what the, the coup is. Um, but they do want to come in and talk with that knight of swords. Um, right, so angels, the person most on Capricorn's mind, what would they like to tell Capricorn? What is, what, if they do want to talk, what do they want to say? Angels, spirit guides, universe, the person most on Capricorn's mind. Person most on Capricorn's mind. Person most on Capricorn's. And I've, I've, they keep asking me to read this Seven of Swords, so I'm going to do that in a minute. Angel, Spirit, guys, what would you like Capricorn to know? The person most on their mind, what would they like to say to Capricorn if they could tell the truth? I wonder if you are happy without me. Person most on Capricorn's mind, what would they like to tell Capricorn? I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson angels yeah i think you're more spiritual than this person angels spirit guides universe what do you like capricorn to know i can't stop thinking about you i remember every detail of that day and you were the best thing in my life Ooh. 
they could be having a turn around and trying to sneak back and try to ask you, you know, but you know, stay on, stay on that, that clean path, um, health path, spiritual path. Let me, oh God, let me to be, let's see. Okay, it's Capricorn. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's saying something about false pride could prevent you from taking help from others. So do you come down off that pedestal and allow these people to um, because the thing is you, right now it's okay but when this tower hits you might feel very very trapped by this situation and you might need more help um, hold on But there is, there's going to be a spiritual blessing, a material success with this eight of, eight of um, uh, coins. So get out of this trap. Maybe do it. See, you might be doing things undercover. You might feel a bit humbled by stuff. But if you have faith, this spiritual essence of, of abundance is going to come in regardless. Um, but don't be afraid to ask for help, basically, when this tower hits. Um... Yeah, you know, most of the spiritual journey is about losing your ego uh, and build and going, not losing it, but going back to the ego you had that you were born with before you were programmed, before you were about seven or eight years old. You know, when you weren't scared of things. So I think that you're trying to work on that right now, but something could come up that puts your back up and then something could come in like this this out of the blue um, worry that makes you have to be secretive because it's like you can't tell anyone because you didn't back down there. So uh, I'll look stupid if I back down here. But there's there's incredible spiritual lessons this week and um, it's up to you which, which road you take. Um, sometimes the harder road is the best one. Uh, am I making sense to you? <laughs> Uh, but someone does seem like they've got your back. They want to talk, even if it's a row, even if it's something. And I do have your Queen of Pentacles here. This money's going to come in uh, and you will feel a lot more worthy and stable. So take care. Uh, please like, share and subscribe and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.